This is Lawrence D. Adams. And today I'm talking about stop being so tameable. What do you mean, stop being so tameable? That means that you have allowed everything around you to kill or to stifle the person that you are inside, untamable. This world, this culture, everything has been plotted against you to tame you. When you become untamable, that means you do not go with the rationale or with the crowd. Now, I'm not saying be some lawless person, far from that. What I am saying is tap into the higher self of who you really are. When you are not dictated by the confines of this world, but by a higher order of law, stop being so tameable. Women don't want a man that they can tame. They want a man who is a challenge for them, who they cannot tame. Some of you are just like kittens. You sit on her lap and you just purr. Whatever she say go, you go. You're actually like a lap dog. The lion in you has been defanged, you're declawed, and you do nothing. You do not rock the boat because you're afraid that you may lose in your interaction with her. It is when you stand up and be the man that you were designed to be and not, agree, and not agree with everything that she, the world around you, will begin to respect you on a whole nother level. Too many of you have been tamed. You're neutered, spaded, whatever you want to call it. And I'm saying to you to recharge your manhood and stop being that tame little puppy who's looking for a handout, or who stands up and be counted as a man. It is time out for men to stand around and wait for things to happen for them. It is the man on the inside who you really are, and I'm speaking to that, to stand up and get what's yours. It is when you decide to get what's yours that the whole energy around you begin to change. But yet, this culture has tamed you. Stop being tamed by this culture. Stop being tamed. It is in your nature to dominate and to rule. When you decide not to or to agree with everything around you and you have no voice or no opinion, it's when people and the world around you begin to lose respect for you. I challenge you today to stand up and be accounted for. Let your voice be heard, whether you agree or disagree. But even on that level, make sure you are not disagreeing or agreeing out of emotions, but out of pure logic and spirituality. It is only then when a man stands up in that way, where his voice be heard around the nations. Let me stop right there. This is Lawrence D. 